Hello. Hello. Everybody. What's going on? How are you going today? How are we doing today? I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today, 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 we're going to be reacting to some anti-gay commercials. Because, you know, that's very fun. I do want to say a bit of a warning that some of these videos might be really offensive. So if you're easily offended, sorry about it. There's a lot of videos and homophobic content that exists out there that I didn't know about. So let's, uh, yeah, let's dive into it. Okay. We hear a lot about marriage equality. But what about equality for kids? Children have an equal right, wherever possible, to both a mum and a dad. So-called marriage equality forces a child to miss out on a mother or a father. Forces a child to miss out on a mother and a father. All right. That's not equality for the kids who miss out. That's not marriage. Give every child their chance of a mum and a dad. I can't believe, I can't believe this sh exists. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Give every child the right to a mother and a father, but don't give them rights to express their gender or sexuality. That's for sure. Don't do that. Well, next. School told my son he could wear a dress next year if he felt like it. When same-sex marriage passes as law overseas, this type of program become widespread and compulsory. In countries with gay marriage, parents have lost their rights to choose. Would it, <laughs> to choose what? Like, to choose what they're going to have for lunch? <laughs> what are we talking about? Kids in year seven are being asked to role play being a same sex relationship. <laughs> God, okay, look, what, what she's saying is. <clears throat> but I just want to rewind to just watch her face again. Kids in year seven are being asked to role play being a same sex relationship. I feel like this person is like really trying to get their acting career off the ground. This might be the only casting that she's ever been able to achieve. Kids in schools are being asked to role play same sex marriage. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can say no. It's, it's just like, Oh God, like I, don't, I, can't, I can't believe this exists. Kids in school are being asked to role play, I don't know, being a masculine when maybe they don't want to be masculine. Now this one's also centered around the same sex marriage voting. When you're intent on achieving something big, it can feel like climbing a mountain. But the single-minded focus it takes can leave the rest of us with only that point of view. So it's time to step back and consider all the issues around same-sex marriage. Like how it will affect sex education in schools. It took me a little bit to sort of get into that and understand it, but uh, their approach is like the gentle approach, you know, the, the devil's advocate approach. Like, let's think about the other side. Let's think about, you know, what, what this is going to do and what things we might lose because of this. First, how will it affect sex education in school? How? 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 Sex education in school already doesn't provide you with adequate information about sex. So what else, if we're gonna put it down to the binary, if you have a vagina with a vagina, how's that gonna affect anything? I don't, I'm not understanding. Or how it will affect children. We could even lose certain rights. I think because I'm so not in this world of being a bigot, <laughs> that I find it hard to understand what the other perspective is, possibly because the other perspective has no perspective. But like, what rights are they losing? I'm really, I don't know, I can't think of any. Since changing the meaning of marriage has unintended consequences. Same-sex marriage is not as simple as you think. This one's a bit of an older one that I found, um, and it's a 1950s anti-gay video. <laughs> That looks innocent enough, doesn't it? Lots of young people hitchhike. Seems like a good way to get from one place to another. But sometimes there are dangers involved that never meet the eye. So no matter where you meet a stranger, 
Be careful if they are too friendly. One never knows when the homosexual is about. One never knows when the homosexual is about. Let's take the case of Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy played baseball all afternoon and he didn't feel like walking home, so he decided to thumb a ride. Jimmy, not sure if He'd done it a hundred times Jimmy. before. And he didn't think anything was unusual when the driver struck up a friendly conversation. In fact, he seemed like a real nice guy. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick. A sickness that was not visible like smallpox, <gasps> but no less dangerous and contagious. A sickness contagious. of the mind. Oh my God. They, they're literally saying that it's a sickness. I don't know why I'm surprised because I do know that these things exist, but oh God. It's a, they're, they're, they're literally saying that homosexuality is a sickness and that it is contagious. Mind you, I do want to comment on this guy's voice. I wonder what he looks like because he sounds predatory to me. You see, Ralph was a homosexual, a person who demands an intimate relationship with members of their own sex. So no matter where you meet a stranger, be careful if they are too friendly, if they try to win your confidence too quickly, and if they become overly personal. One never knows when the homosexual is about. He may appear normal. You know, it, it does kind of like make me sad because, you know, this was a 1950s like anti-gay video and my parents were born in the 50s. And so to be brainwashed with this type of information, like it does give you context as to what they were exposed to back in the day and what was seen as like a disease or so, what was seen as something that, that's just not all right. And so to be battling with so much brainwashing, like it's just, it's intense. All right, this one is called, That's Not The Change I Voted For. It's an American one. Hey honey, how are you? Fine, I guess. What's going on? I'm really sorry to say, but I feel like a lot of the people in these videos are like, are trying to kick off their acting careers and these are the only acting, <laughs> these are the only roles that they could learn. This acting is so cringy. Well, Obama is trying to force gay marriage on this country. That's not the change I voted for. Marriage is between a man and a woman. That's not the change I voted for either. What can we do? We can vote for someone with Ooh. values campaign for american values pack is like i find it really hard to even listen to the utter bull <gasps> that they're saying because of their faces and the way that they're like portraying their message it's so cringy i can't all right this one's called where's my mummy marriage about what adults demand or what oh children need gosh. as funny as i find some of these videos to be i think what's really fucked up is the use of children in bigotry and in delivering these messages these kids are being filmed and you know they're being told to say these things and to participate in these things which eventually equates in them like in these values like being pushed toward these kids and i just like that's really sad i don't know to be using kids in this manner just seems so up to me. I do want to end on this and it says the Australian MP Bob Catter segues from gay marriage to croc attacks. So let's see what he has to say. You know, people are entitled to their sexual proclivities. You know, I mean, let there be a thousand blossoms bloom as far as I'm concerned. You know, but I ain't spending any time on it because in the meantime, every three months, a person is torn to pieces by a crocodile in North Queensland. same-sex marriage but he's not gonna pay any attention to it because people are getting eaten by crocodiles <laughs> oh that is so random but also leave the crocodiles alone if they're eating you it means you're in their territory so fuck off okay that is uh, all the videos let me know your comments below if you did like this video 
please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!